Hello and welcome to Coaster Strike. My name is Tom, and in today's video I'm going to showcase some more tips and tricks for playing Planet Coaster Console Edition. In this video I'm doing a few less than last, so there can be more in the series, and also lots of people didn't seem to make it past number 5, so today it will be 5 tips with a bit more detail. Oh, and once again, a special easter egg will be shown at the end. Now number two is a feature in the game which I don't usually use. Never quite sure why you'd want it, but you can change the colour of the setup for your menu, meaning that when you're feeling mega bored, you can play in Planet Spooky, the purple background, which I think goes with the Spooky DLC perfectly. You could also play in the Planet Zoo colours, with the sort of aqua and green teal. Or, who knows, maybe you want to play in Planet Red, I don't know honestly about this one, I can't see why you'd want it. Now I've got this lovely large plaza area, and I was thinking I was going to build a centerpiece or a statue in the middle. Now the game has made it very easy to do so. You simply choose a base from the menu, which there's a wide selection of, find a spot, and then look down at it vertically, and you can place it there. You can then select, select extra detail columns and similar, and then a main feature. And if you look vertically down when you place it, that you won't have to position it at all, because it will automatically be in the exact centre. This makes it much, much easier to build good-looking statues. Now obviously, people in real life would respect the statue and leave it alone, but unfortunately, the people in this game, well, they're just rebels. Fortunately enough, there is a way to get past these terrible acts of reminding me that Planet Coast is a game and not real life, and that I should spend more time in the real world. Um, for some reason, these guests have an utmost respect for bins, meaning that if you hide bins inside of a centerpiece or fountain, then they will avoid it completely and be much, much more civil. Of course, if you don't like the way that the bins look, you can cover them up with other pieces of scenery, such as the columns from the fountain. However, the guests can still be rebels. Now number 4 is one which I think you'll probably like. It takes a decent amount of planning, but if you hate the Oswald Eugene counter, it will probably be worth it. This glitch allows you to go past the Oswald counter almost as much as you want, simply within the limits of a blueprint. If you plan a section of your park that you know you want, probably with not too much terrain, and you'll see why in a second, then you can build it in a different park, save it as a blueprint, and then place it in perfection with everything around it lined up and at just under 100%. Then, voila, you can add a whole other section or ride to your park. By the way, I have lots more details to go into with this to get the most out of it, so if you want to see a whole video dedicated to getting past the Oswald limit, just comment down below. If you put the planning in, you can do it better. This is just a blueprint I already had. Okay, so number five, the finale, is our special Easter egg. This one is to do with ride breakdowns. Whether you're in sandbox or challenge, ride breakdowns can be quite annoying, so if you rename a ride to FRONTIER, all caps again, it will never break down. Ever. Meaning you won't need half as many mechanics for fixing vandalised bins. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed and that you found these tips useful, and there's at least one or two in there that you didn't know already. Of course, I have plenty more tips, tricks and easter eggs to show you, so please scroll down and do all the classic YouTube stuff, like the video, maybe even subscribe for more content like this. And don't forget to comment your thoughts on the new layout. Did you prefer 10, or is 5 good for you? Until then, enjoy firing all of your mechanics from your oversized park of rebels, and I'll see you all next time.